On 1 November 1921, the 13th Commandant of the Marine Corps, Lieutenant General John A. Lejeune, directed that a reminder of the honorable service of the Corps be published by every command to all Marines around the globe on the birthday of the Corps. Since that day, Marines have continued to distinguish themselves on many battlefields and foreign shores in war and peace. On this birthday of the Corps, therefore, in compliance with the will of our 13th Commandant, Article 38 of the Marine Corps Manual, edition of 1921, is republished as follows. On November 10, 1775, a Corps of Marines was created by a resolution of the Continental Congress. Since that date, many thousand men have borne the name Marine. In memory of them, it is fitting that we who are Marines should commemorate the birthday of our Corps by calling to mind the glories of its long and illustrious history. The record of our Corps is one that will bear comparison with that of the most famous military organizations in the world's history. During 90 of the 146 years of its existence, the Marine Corps has been in action against the nation's foes. From the Battle of Trenton to the Argonne, Marines have won foremost honors in war, and in the long eras of tranquility at home, generation after generation of Marine have grown gray in war in both hemispheres, and in every corner of the seven seas, that our country and its citizens might enjoy peace and security. In every battle and skirmish since the birth of our Corps, Marines have acquitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors on each occasion, until the term Marine has come to signify all that is highest in military efficiency and soldierly virtue. This high name of distinction and soldierly repute, we who are Marines today have received from those who preceded us in the Corps. With it, we also received from them the eternal spirit that has animated our Corps from generation to generation and has been the distinguishing mark of the Marines in every age. So long as that spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be found equal to every emergency in the future as they have in the past, and the men of our nation will regard us as worthy successors to the long line of illustrious men who have served as soldiers of the sea since the founding of the Corps. This inspiring message of our 13th Commandant has left its mark in the hearts and minds of Marines. By deed and act, from Bella Wood to the Argonne, from Guadalcanal to Iwo Jima, from Incheon to the Korean Armistice, in interventions from Lebanon to the Dominican Republic, from the opening battles in Vietnam to Grenada, Panama, and Kuwait, and from operations in Somalia and Kosovo to those in Iraq and Afghanistan, Marines have continued to epitomize those qualities which are their legacy. The success they have achieved in combat and the faith they have borne in peace will endure. The Commandant and our many friends have added their hearty praise and congratulations on this, our 248th birthday.